Welcome back! I finally received all the missing parts to complete my board. That's my cat. Be gone, cat. For this build, I went with Alpaca Linear Switches, Alpaca V2 Stabilizers, TX Switch Films, Crytox 205G0 for the switches and stabilizers, and GPL 105 for the springs as well as the Novel Keys MK87 Entry Edition from my previous video. Feel free to check that out. I'll leave a link to all these parts in the description, but can't guarantee any of these items will actually be in stock. Which brings me to why I chose alpaca switches in the first place. I have narrowed down my options to banana splits, tangerines, and alpacas which I really like the sound of each of those, but the alpacas, even now after recording this video, are the only ones that have actually still been in stock. I tuned and lubed the stabilizers, installed the o-rings, reassembled the board, installed the switches and keycaps, and at this point I'm starting to feel really good about this project. It took a little while for these items to come in the mail, but Apex Keyboards was really nice about it. I emailed them for an update during the weekend and unexpectedly received a fairly immediate response. It turns out it's really just one person who processes these orders for that company, and they had been somehow or another affected by COVID. They were still very polite about it and ended up shipping my items immediately the following Monday. It, it was a positive interaction and helps me recommend Apex Keyboards to anybody looking for parts. Check them out. I wasn't sure how well the translucent pink caps would look on top of the blue, but it's coming together nicely. My god, they feel incredible. I thought I liked my Corsair K100 before this, but the difference is similar to going from K cups to a finely crafted cappuccino. It's hardly even comparable. Anyways, time for a sound test. Enjoy. <laughs> 